Hi, welcome to Kurt's Corner. We're here at Monster Transmissions. We get a lot of phone calls and questions. What is a 298 or a 300 millimeter and how do I tell? Well, it depends on your generation or type of transmission. This is the 300 millimeter input shaft. And this design over here, this is the 298 millimeter shaft. And the 298 is the early design, like from a 700R4 transmission, uh, all the way up into the, the one piece and two piece 4L60E. So here's an example of what they're referring to as far as the shaft. So it's this measurement of this shaft, okay? That would be a 298 millimeter shaft. You notice another unique characteristic of this input shaft, it has a, a snout or a section of the shaft that sticks out with a rubber O-ring on the end. And that's the portion that goes into the, the lockup clutch area of the torque converter. So this is the shaft they're referring to as a 298. And then they ask, well, what's a 300 millimeter? Well, 300 millimeter came out when they came out with a the new transmission or a 4L65, and it continued out all the way up in the, to the 4L70. And this is a GM uh, 4L65 transmission, and this is a 300 millimeter shaft. You notice there's no snout on the end of it like there is on the earlier design. Instead, they moved a the lockup clutch mechanism further back on the shaft, this smooth area with a rubber O-ring. Now that's where the lockup clutch will seal on this converter design. So when you're referring to a 300 millimeter, this is the design transmission you're speaking about. If it's a 298 as far as the converter, then this is the area of the shaft you're referring to. It's the measurement of that shaft. Uh, that sticks out the actual input shaft. If you have any further questions on shaft sizes or lengths or spline counts, feel free to give us a call at Monster 1-800-708-0087 and we'll talk to you then.